the parametric equation shown represents a line. So we have x equals 4t. Oh, I'll write this down real quick. x equals 4t minus 2 and y equals 1 minus t. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to graph the line and we're going to find a rectangular equation for the line. Okay, so the way I approach these, I'm going to draw a something kind of like this. Yeah, reasonable enough. And so I'm going to look at this in terms of t, x, and y. And you can choose any numbers you want. Uh, usually I go from like negative, start with like negative 3 to positive 3. But for this one, I'm just going to start with 0, 1, and 2. And so I'm going to find out what x and y are equal for 0, 1, and 2. Click, clack. So x of 0, plug in here. So 4 times 0 would be, uh, minus 2 would be negative 2. Whoops, scroll down a bit. x of 1 equals 4 times 1 minus 2, which is 4 minus 2, which is positive 2 x of 2 equals 4 times 2 minus 2, which is 8 minus 6. No, 8 minus 2, which is 6. So we have 6, okay? And then we'll do y of 0, kind of to round out the um, evaluations. So 1 minus 0 would be 0. y of 1 would then be 1 minus 1, which would be Zero. This one would actually be 1. Good catch. Good catch. Y of 2 would be 1 minus 2, which would be negative 1. Okay, so I'm going to put these up into our table here. So we have negative 2, 2, 6, 1, 0, 1. And if you have a more complicated graph, you, you could do more of them. And this would be kind of the um, guess and check method. So, or solved by inspection, or whatever you'd like to call it. This is generally the way if I'm someone's like, graph this parametric equation. My first thought is, well, I'll put it in my calculator. But if I don't have one available, this is how I would do it uh, manually. So we look at our first point here for time t equals 0. We're going to have negative 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, probably right about there. Next point we have is 2, 0, 1, 2, right about there. And then 6, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I think that's supposed to be negative 1. I'll check real quick. Yep, negative 1. Right down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right about there. So I draw a line. Starts from 0. Goes about that way. That's not too bad. Well, okay. Ugh, my graphing is terrible. But the line will look kind of like that. And so when you're asked to, alright, graph the line, this is how I'd approach it. That's how I would graph it. So the next part of the question is, and find the rectangular equation for the line. So I'm going to assume that they want the line in um, y-intercept form. So this t right here, that's sometimes referred to as a dummy variable because it's not even needed in there. And I'm going to show you how to look at that in a sec. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for t. So I'm going to start with this equation because it looks easiest. You could do the other one too. So we'll do, moving that around, we have t equals 1 minus y. So I subtracted, or added t to both sides, and it subtracted y from both sides. And the y's cancel, the t would cancel, everything mixes together, algebra. Um, hopefully you understand that. If not, it's something to review. So now I have this. I'm going to plug it into this equation right there. So we then have x equals 4 times t, but we know that t equals this from the below equation, 1 minus y minus 2, make another, you don't have to make the arrows, I'm just making the arrows. So then we have x equals 4, because 4 times 1, minus 4y, minus 2. Simplifying a lot, a little bit, we have 2 minus 4y, because combine the 4 and the negative 2. And then switching the y over to the other side, we have 4y equals 2 minus x which implies, dividing both sides by 4, y equals, let's see here, 2 over 4 minus x over 4. And then I'm going to rewrite this one more time so I have it in y-intercept form. And, hmm, red. So we have negative 1 fourth x plus 1 half. 
So what this is saying is the slope is negative, so the line goes down. One fourth, so it's gonna be a little bit flat. And then where the um, line intercepts with the y-axis will be one half. And if we look at the graph we did over here, yeah, intercepts at about one half, slopes downward, but not but at a kind of a shallow angle. And so that seems reasonable. So to backtrack and to recap what we did here, to graph the line, we just plugged in var variables. We had t, which we're going to plug in whatever numbers we feel appropriate. Usually a little bit negative, a little bit positive, whatever you need to get the idea. Uh, since this is a line, we actually don't really only needed two points, but three is good. We then plug in the values we chose for t to get some values for x and y. We then plot these values of x and y, and then we just connect the dots. To solve it for, to create a rectangular equation for this, we then just solved for the variable, the dummy variable, the parametric variable. In this case, it was t, and we took that uh, variable that we solved for, and we plugged it back into the other equation. And therefore, we we're able to reduce um, that equation to just x and y's, and t was completely eliminated. And that gave us our rectangular equation, which we then put into right down here, y-intercept form. Hope that helped. See you next time.